Hi YouTube, my name is Frank and welcome to my drawing channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about should you use Sketchbook Pro for architectural works. My short answer is yes, but I also think it should not be the only weapon in your architectural representation arsenal. I'll get deeper into that later. The footage you're seeing right now is the screen recording of me doing a full-fledged architectural rendering from start to finish using only Sketchbook Pro. The reference image I used is from an excellent architectural portfolio I found on Behance. I'll link that in the description box. It took me 6 hours to finish this whole thing, and my opinion on using Sketchbook Pro for architectural work is for the most part positive. What I love about using Sketchbook Pro for architectural drawing is, first of all, it's got incredibly robust brush presets. From pencils, ink pens to brushes and markers, you can just double click the tool's property panel, tweak a few sliders and create amazing images that just have this strong hand-drawn quality to it, which is very hard to come by in this digital age. Comparing to the gigantic, complicated brush library of Photoshop, it's a huge plus. The second thing I love about Sketchbook Pro is its speed. Again, comparing it to the industry standard Photoshop, Sketchbook Pro loads faster, requires less resource on your computer. So if you're just looking to do a quick drawing project, I would highly recommend you to do it in Sketchbook Pro instead of in Photoshop. The third plus of Sketchbook Pro is its affordability. Again, comparing to the Adobe Suite, it is much cheaper. So if you're not highly dependent on Adobe's other softwares, there's really no reason you should be paying for the whole suite while you do just fine with Sketchbook Pro alone. Last but not least, Sketchbook Pro comes with a strong set of drafting tools, including a French curve, basic geometry templates, Symmetry tool, steady stroke, which lets you draw beautiful smooth curves, and most of all, a powerful perspective tool in which you can do one point, two points, three points, and even warped perspective constructions. Next, I'll talk about what I'm not so thrilled about Sketchbook Pro. First of all, Sketchbook Pro is not a software for line work editing because it is fundamentally raster instead of vector based. So if you're looking to assign line weight or delete lines like you would in Adobe Illustrator or AutoCAD, you're out of luck. Secondly, Sketchbook Pro is not meant to do advanced rendering. What I mean by that is, if you're looking to bring in textures, toggling different overlaying effects, applying various filters and all kinds of other cool stuff, Sketchbook Pro doesn't have all that. But I'm not knocking on Sketchbook Pro by saying all these because Sketchbook Pro was never meant to be a computer-aided drafting software or post-production rendering tool. It is designed as a lightning-fast drawing software for you to develop your ideas and it is a perfect job doing just that. With that said, I think you should treat Sketchbook Pro as you would your pocket sketchbook. Use it to doodle, collect ideas, practice drawing skills. As for architectural work in specific, my recommended workflow is to have your line work done in a vector-based software and bring it into Sketchbook Pro for coloring. You know what's even better? Hand draft your line work. Matter of fact, I'm planning to do an architectural rendering image using just this method and I can't wait to see how the final product's gonna look. So in conclusion, I strongly recommend adding Sketchbook Pro into your arsenal because of its rich brush presets, amazing tools, fast speed and affordability. However, it will complement but cannot replace vector-based softwares or strong post-production softwares. Alright guys, so that's my opinion on whether you should use Sketchbook Pro for architectural rendering. Comment below and let me know what softwares do you use for your architectural work. And I'll see all of you in the next video.